Okay, so another FE type question. We're still looking at spheres and what we want to do here is we want to find the equation of a sphere that's given. We have the general form equation. We want to find the standard form equation of this general form equation of a sphere. So these are our answer choices and what do we do here? So the first step is to combine the x terms the y terms and the z terms by themselves so meaning on next to each other so using this equation that's what i'm going to do this whole equation so it's going to be x squared plus 10x then i take my y squared minus 6y i'm just trying to get them next to each other so it's going to be plus y squared minus 6y. Then I'm going to look at the z term, z squared plus z plus 6z. So it's going to be plus z squared plus 6z plus 34 equals to 0. This is always the first step. And then we will complete the square. So now complete the square and what we do here is we look at this first the x terms so we're trying to reduce x squared plus 10x into the quadratic form so what we do here we can denote that we're gonna ha have to add a certain value and that value what we simply do is take this term, we take 10, we divide it by 2, then we square it. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 squared is what? 25. So we get 25. So what that means here, I can take this, I'm going to write it as x squared plus 10x, keep that. So keep that term, then we add 25, add 25. And let me just write all of this must equal to zero, right? So if we added 25 to this side, we must add it to this side. So we add 25. So that's done. Now we move on to the next section. Now we're going to look at this portion. We do the same steps, same exact steps. So what we do is take the negative 6 divided by 2 and square that. So I'm going to take negative 6 divided by 2, which is just negative 3, and negative 3 squared is just negative 3 times negative 3, which is going to be the 9. So we get 9, positive 9. So I can rewrite this plus y squared minus 6y. And what value do we add? We add 9 plus 9. So we're adding 9. And what we do to that side, we must do to the other side. So we add 9 on this side. Now the last term is this term, the z's. So we do the same steps. We take 6 divided by 2 and square that. 6 divided by 2 and square that 6 divided by 2 is 3 3 squared is just 9 right positive 9 so we're just going to add positive 9 so i take my plus z squared plus 6z add 9 and what i do to this side i must do to this side then we have the positive 34 keep that here positive 34 so next, I can reduce the right side. Let me do the math. So we have 25 plus 9 plus 9. I get 43 on this side. So we have 43 on this side. And now we just complete. We know these are going to be reduced. These are perfect squares. So x squared plus 10x plus 25. This portion can be reduced to, to x plus 5 squared. We have that. 
Then y squared minus 6y plus 9, I can reduce this to y minus 3 squared. Don't forget that negative. If we have a negative here, put in that negative there. Then this one is just going to be what? The z plus 3 squared. What you're essentially doing here is taking the square root of the last term. The square root of 25 is just 5, right? The square root of 9 is just 3. But we add a negative, right? Because we have a negative here. So add that negative. Let me erase that just to make it clear. Don't forget that negative. Here we take the square root of 9. It's just 3. Keep it as positive. We have a positive value there. And then we have a plus 34. So we're almost done. All we have to do now is move this 34 to the other side. What we do to one side, we do to the other side. So we do 43 minus 34. You should get 9. So that's 9 on this side. And these, you just bring them down. So it's x plus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared plus z plus 3 squared and I believe we did that correct and if you look at the answer choices it should be B so that's all you're completing the square let me know if you have questions please subscribe like and thank you